Thank you for tuning in. You may have been wondering, where have I been? And I'll tell you, I've just been busy. Busy with personal stuff in real life, busy with coding projects, and I even joined a business partnership and formed an LLC. The first question you may have, is Paths of Peril still in development or has it been scrapped? I do not have any plans to scrap Paths of Peril, but I am going to direct it towards a more original direction with extra twists that Risk of Rain does not offer. I've taken a short break from developing and working on POP, but POP is planned to migrate into that LLC and start up active development again in the near future. So stay tuned with that. Now, I've also been working on another project with my business partner, which is the one you see right here in front of you. It is a first person slash over the shoulder gun lab testing system. I've never made a gun framework before, so this project is proving itself to be quite fun and challenging. Earlier, I was goofing around with making a tooltip for UI because I hate coding UI, but here is the tooltip with this example frame down here. It's a pretty neat little animated tooltip that we'll be using in the game. But enough with tooltips, let's take a look at the gun system. The game is currently in alpha and version one of this gun framework is basically complete and has a lot of different features like the over the shoulder camera with swappable shoulder views as well as camera tilting and leaning with your character. And in first person you have view model swaying. There's things like dynamic bullet spread when you shoot. There's camera tilting as well in first person. This is the active project I'm working on and you can check out the alpha version at the link in the description if you're curious. Once this game is in its release state, then the next thing to tackle is going to be Paths of Peril. And that shouldn't actually be too bad because Paths of Peril basically has all of its core systems complete and scripted. So it just needs polishing, it needs more content, data saving, monetization, stuff like that. So yeah, this update is just to show you that I've been busy with scripting and doing other things. And guess what? You should be busy scripting and making things too. Sometimes it's good to just take a break from social media and work on stuff. Go and script things, build things, create things, just code. It'll be the only way you'll improve your programming skills anyways. I'll also be posting any future update videos on games I'm working on, as well as when Paths of Peril goes into open alpha. So if you want to be notified of that, go ahead and hit the notification bell. And I'll likely also post some more videos in the near future relating to some scripting topics as well. So you might want to stay tuned for that. Roblox is also going to be releasing its new studio UI sometime early next year. For any of you who are in my scripting course, that means the entire course is going to be rehauled to reflect the new studio UI changes. And I'm also going to be including extra content and improvements to the lectures. So if you're a student, stay tuned for that as well. Otherwise, just a short update from me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.